Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create responsive grids for desktop and mobile in Adobe XD. So let's jump into it. So you can see on screen that I have two artboards already created and you can create these from the welcome screen with a custom size and then use the artboard tool to add an additional artboard. And you can double click to give the artboard a name and with the artboard selected, you can set the sizes here. So we have 1,300 by 800 for the desktop and we have 420 by 800 for mobile. And both of these have this fill color here, ED, 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 basically ed, ed, ed. So when it comes to responsive web design, there are tons of different guides and grid systems and all that. This is just one of many potential options. And if you have another option that you feel is more effective, please do let me and everyone else know down in the comments, because as this video gets older, it would be great for all of us to just kind of write stuff down in the comments and hopefully just help everyone stay ahead of the curve when it comes to responsive design. So jumping back to the document, we now have the desktop artboard and the mobile artboard and I'm going to start by working on the desktop. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and just left click and drag to draw a rectangle. Now I'm going to type the width for the desktop one at 78 and the height, I'm going to set this at 800 just so it matches the height of the artboard. And I'm going to deselect the border and select the fill color as black. So that's all the way in the bottom left corner and we can drag this up so it snaps in place. Let's just zoom in a bit more there. And then what I'm going to do is go to edit, down to duplicate and drag this out just so it lines up and snaps in place. And I'm going to change the width here to 30. And I'm going to set the color to white, which is in the top left corner. So the black represents our column and the white represents our gutter. So the gutter is the space in between each column. And what I'm going to do now is left click, hold shift and left click to select both of these and then select the repeat grid option from the properties panel on the right. And we can drag out our repeat grid and it looks like this. So as soon as you drag out, if you hover over the space in between, you get this pink area come up, just left click and hold. And we're going to reduce this to zero. We don't want to have any additional space because we're creating this ourselves. Let's just check that's at zero. Perfect. And what we're going to do is drag this out. We want 12 columns. So let's just count this one, two, three, four. Yeah, we've got 12. That is making my eyes go a little bit funny. And we can zoom in and just make sure that that lines up with the edge of the far right column. And then once we've got that, we can select the repeat grid group and use the alignment option up here, align center horizontally, and it will position the grid in the middle of the artboard. And then you can adjust the opacity here. So for me personally, I like to have it nice and low, probably around 3%. And then I can go to object and lock. And you'll see from the layers panel, I've got my repeat grid group and I can call this grid or responsive guide, whatever you'd like to call it. And then I can start working on that artboard and just keep that either on top or below. And I can then see exactly where things need to line up. And if I need to edit this, I can select it and go to object and unlock it again. So there we go. That's the one for desktop. For mobile, it's the same thing. We use the rectangle tool. We draw that shape, deselect border, and we go with a black fill for the column. And for mobile, we're going to be working with a column width of 50 and the same height of 800. So we're just going to match the height of the artboard. And we'll just snap that in place there. And then go to edit, duplicate, drag that out. And then the gutter for mobile is also going to be 30. And we'll set the fill color to white. Let's just zoom in a bit more there. And with those two selected, the black column and the white gutter, we select the repeat grid option and we drag this out. And the first thing we do is just close that gap by hovering over the pink area and just dragging to the left. We set that to zero. And we're going to have four columns here. And we'll just zoom right in on that far right column and just drag this in. And then we can just center that on the artboard 
and then adjust the appearance or the opacity. So I've set that in the center, is at 3% opacity, so the same as the desktop one. And with it selected, I can then go to object and lock. And then I've created the desktop and mobile responsive grids and I can now start working on my design. And if you do decide to extend your homepage, so if you're doing a complete homepage design, you can go and unlock this and extend vertically as well. And of course you will get this in between, but as with when we did the horizontal, you can just reduce that to zero. So there's no gap whatsoever. And then however high you do make your artboard, even if you extend it miles and miles down, there will be no gap at all. And there we go. That's how to create desktop and mobile responsive grids in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.